Good morning <clears throat> from my balcony at the homestead. Look, la 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 la. It's actually not even a balcony. It's a gigantic, it's a gigantic deck. That's what happens when you beg for an upgrade. Mm -hmm. So we're not gonna get into it all right now because I'm supposed to be packing because Vivian has us on a timeline. But I went ghost hunting last night. Ghost hunting. Daddy, y'all are here. Is that a bird? Oh, they've got a desk they're building. Um, we might have to do a little recap. It was a lot. You're gonna freeze. Well, I'm, I'm not planning on sitting out here forever, and neither are you. We'll get a blanket. I had to go home. Home? I mean, I feel rushed. Feel rough. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd like to stay till tomorrow. Go. We're going to talk about this more a little bit later since y'all are waking up on Sunday going to church and I'm talking about ghosts. But I will say the woman, I think she was Catholic. My video is frozen. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Um, the ghost hunting is very intriguing. Tell us more about the ghost. We saw some ghosts. Not we. I was asleep. Vivian didn't see ghosts. I was downstairs playing cornhole and then I was having some pretty big conversations with this group called Jack and Jill, um, which was really fun. We'll talk about that more later too. And then the ghost, I was like, I want to go see the attic. Good morning, Donna and Ellen. And they were like, well, they're the ghost hunters right there. I just stumbled upon them in the lobby. They were getting ready to go on a hunt with their flashlights. Mm -hmm. We went on a hunt. We also had a heat sensor. I've got a bullshit sensor right here. I mean, it's like, what? you really. Did you tell them what happened to me though? I mean, if anything well, yeah, talk about, has happened. Talk about somebody that doesn't believe that's like being attacked by a ghost here. Go ahead. Yeah, they're attacking me. I was in the shower minding my own business and I hear this crash in my bathroom. Mm -hmm. And I look out of the shower and my makeup bag that has been sitting on the sink the entire time we've been here has been thrown off by something and all my makeup is all over the floor. And then I went to leave my room to go to dinner and my door wouldn't shut. It still won't shut. I slept with it. She open. slept with the door open all night. What if I had dressed up like a ghost and stood at the <laughs> end of her bed? <laughs> You know, my husband did that one time in college. He would have these parties at Mulberry Hill. And Brian Lowrance was in bed. And he and Jason Crowder put on, they have all these, like, his parents love some old, like, outfits. Put on dresses and stood in the corner and held candles. <laughs> and, like, made a noise. So he woke up and saw him, and he drove back to Raleigh. <laughs> I would, too. At 3 in the morning. Y'all have been drinking too much wine. I didn't even have wine last night. I had a dirty martini. We have taken advantage of every thing in the world. And I will say the spa yesterday was one of my favorite parts. Yeah, I'd like to spend more time there. There was a lot of untapped resources we did not get to experience just because we dealing Christy dally. Bogle just said, does Vivian have eye patches on? Yes. Yes, she does. She's also put them on Blair. Yeah, the herbal cocoon, the ice shower. 
you press a button and ice pours out of a little sink. And then sleet falls on you. And then there's an air button. Yes, so you get cold and wet and then they blow cold air on you. <laughs> so, For money. For money. <laughs> <laughs> for money after you've had a bloody mary and a painkiller oh what a bad in an avocado My sandwich i mean <laughs> bad bad but anyway the ghost thing is a hit and i'm gonna and the woman i mean she, and you pointed this out it's not like she's exploiting anyone no i don't understand what she's doing because this is clearly just her hobby. Pneumonia and I feel spa. Like she could really turn hey, it into something more. And that's the thing I'm really frustrated by. Look, Lisa just called it a pneumonia spa. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. So she didn't she didn't make any money on it. And she was like, Well, I don't want it, y'all, I don't want you to mention the homestead in it because what if they don't let me do this anymore? And I was like, Well, do you have a TV show? What is this? And she was like, No. I was like, Do you have Instagram? Mm mm. It's just her hobby. And she's befriended all the staff who were like, oh, we'd get, we'd lose our jobs. But they love it, too. I think, I'm sure they do love it. They're sitting up here. There ain't much going on. Yeah, they want to, they, they like to have regulars probably come in. And I'll tell you the creepiest thing I've seen since I've been here is that white house over there illuminated on the mountain at night. It's I'll go like show y'all. Scooby-Doo and Scraggy are going to go. What's his name, Scooby-Doo? Shaggy. Shaggy. Scraggy. That's Do y'all see it? The haunted house. I sort of like that house. It scares Vivian. But at night, it has a light on it. Well, I bet we could go do ghost hunting in there. We probably could. I've got a lot of stuff to do, though. I'm not sure I can pick up this hobby. Vivian was like, we could have ghost tours in Kinston. What the hell am I talking about? I can't start something new. But somebody else could. I'm sure there are people that are like, I need a... I need a career. I need a new career path. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to get ready for breakfast. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later.